Sang, creative director and owner of Sunny Kilogram. If you're curious as to how to remove the Tumblr photo viewer, you've come to the right place, because that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's get rolling. Um, Tumblr photo viewers allow us to browse a Tumblr blog's photos all in one place. It's a pretty cool and nifty tool. Um, one example is tumview.com. So let's say we go here and just enter my um, Tumblr ID and click on show photos and it's going to show all the photos that I've ever posted. Um, so far only three, but you can imagine that it's pretty useful when you have you know, hundreds of photos and you can see them all in one place. But of course, the flip side is, I'm sure there are images that you want to keep private. Um, so to do that, there are three ways to do that that I'm going to show you. Um, the first way is to actually make um, specific posts private. To do that, um, navigate to Tumblr, obviously, log in. And um, let's create a new post. So I'm going to go ahead and click on photo. And let me upload this random image I have on my computer. And instead of just clicking on publish, it's, which is what I usually do, I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow so that I get a bunch of other options. And the last one says private. This is, this is exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and create private post. All right, so it seems like nothing has happened because you don't see your new image showing up. And if you actually go to my account, the image isn't here either. So that's actually a good sign. But where is it? Well, if you just go ahead and click on posts, now it shows up and it has this private icon here telling me that it's private. So that's definitely a good sign. So that's one way to keep your images from being um, displayed on these photo viewers. A second way to do this is to actually prevent search engines from indexing your blog altogether. That's a little radical, but you know, it's something that you can also consider. So to do that, navigate to the gear icon, click on that, and now you're in settings. Um, and make sure you go to the account that you want to do this for. And for me, I only have one account, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and scroll down to where it says directory all the way down at the bottom. And make sure that this allow search engines to index your blog checkbox is actually not checked. Because if you check it, search engines can index your blog. So let's say that um, I uncheck it and then I just go ahead and save it. Now, um, Google, Bing, Yahoo, whatever search engine crawlers, they won't be able to index my blog at all. So that's another way to prevent your photos from showing up on these photo viewers. Um, the last way I'm going to show you is actually um, pretty cool. It's to create a completely password protected blog. So unfortunately, you can only do this to a secondary blog, meaning that I actually can't password protect my Sunny Kilogram blog because this is my primary blog. However, I can create another blog by um, clicking on this down arrow here and going to create a new blog. So I'm going to give this blog a new title. I'm going to be very boring and just name it my secondary blog. And um, but the important thing is once I come to privacy that I check this password protect this blog and create a password for it and click on pri create private blog and now I have a really awesome secondary blog that's private. And that's it. For any other questions, please visit my website at www.sunnykilogram.com. Thank you so much. See ya.